Hi, y'all. Hi, Coach. There's uh, uh, you know, stuff uh, been reported this week out of Seattle about Russ, diminished player. Uh, mm. You know all the. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what, what do you say to that? I mean, I just know what I see out here on the practice field, and he looks awesome. So excited to have him here. How do you make sure that I, he's going to get up here and tell us it's just another game, but there's got to be some human emotion there that it, it does turn into another game for him? I mean, it's the first game of the season. It's Monday Night Football. That's exciting, you know, just in its own. Uh, I think, you know, obviously he is going back to where he came from. Happens to be the first week. We knew this was going to happen at some point because it was on our schedule. So, um, I mean, it, yeah, we got to go out and execute. <laughs> it doesn't matter who or where or when. Um, we got to execute. Yeah, they're both doing good. We've got, just for the injury, all that aspect, we've got uh, Jonas, he'll be full. And then uh, Randy, Billy, and KJ will all be limited. Hey, Nate, the, the Seattle could start two rookie offensive tackles on Monday. Your experience working with young guys, how do you, how do you help them? Whew, um, you know, I mean, rookies are uh, always a doozy. You know, when they come in, they've, you know, they've had a certain amount of speed that they've gotten to go against, and it's limited compared to the other people. Um, so I think that you're going to try to do everything you can to help them uh, through the play design. And uh, if not, they're, you know, they're going to have to execute like all of us. What is the key to slowing down Penny or stopping Penny in their run game? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, we've got to be able to tackle him. I mean, he shows you know, all, throughout all his, his past that he can break tackles. And you have to be sure you get two hands on him and wrap him up. Um, so for him, it's just about containing him and understanding that we're going to have to make some good tackles on him because he's got a great stiff arm. He's a downhill runner, and he's got a little shift to him. So um, he's a really good player. How beneficial will Russell Wilson be in helping the team, both offense and defense, prepare for the Seahawks? Uh, I mean, he's, he's already going to help us for all the games. I mean, he works so hard. Uh, he does a great job with the guys, meeting with them you know, on his own, making sure everybody's on the same page, because that's in the end to be able to execute efficiently throughout the season. You know, Those guys are the ones that have to be on the same page. And I think he does a great job from, uh, with that. From when it comes to Seattle, I mean, you know, he's here. He was at Seattle. You know, they they were with him. So there's always going to be those things that you you know you think you know either way. But again, it's you know they know we know we know they know, and so everybody usually changes everything, anyways. Obviously, you studied the film of the Broncos from last year. So, how do you expect DJ Jones and Josie Jewell being back to make this run defense? better and more ready for someone like Penny? Well, you know, I think it's just the whole defensive scheme, the whole mindset we have of wanting to stop the run. I mean, we've got some really good guys up front, Purcell, all those guys, Josie being back, like you had mentioned. Um, they're going to they're gonna have to stop the run. I mean, it's a challenge for them to be able to stop number 20. And um, that whole offensive line, they're very good run blocking, very uh, good run blocking offensive line and very well coached. And so we just have to step up to that challenge because we know that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I think it's always going to be something that we're going to collaborate on uh, consistently. Uh, we'll put kind of that initial stuff down. He'll have his initial stuff, and we'll be sure to communicate a whole bunch because in the end, I want him to feel comfortable out there. I want him to run the plays that he thinks he can execute at the highest level uh, with anything that might be thrown at him because you never know, especially going into a game where you know it's, it's a new coordinator. So what do you look at? Do you look at preseason? Do you look at his past? All those things. So that's always um, a little bit difficult. So it's more about what kind of plays he feels the best at. And I think the same thing with our players for what they've learned up to this point in the offense. We want to make sure that they're all executing at a high level versus anything that might be thrown at us. While you were in Green Bay, I know you uh, broke up the offensive game planning responsibilities where it was broken up for you where you were responsible for red zone and now it was responsible for other areas. Are you carrying that over into the head coaching? Uh, at Green Bay, we, were, uh, we, we had a lot of people that were kind of corresponding through a lot of stuff. I did a little bit of everything, both uh, run game, red zone, third down, base pass, all those things. Um, here, you know, up to this point, we've had a lot of extra time. So we've been doing it all together as one. And then we're going to try to do that as much as possible. The more that we can all be in the same room together and communicating and talking, the more we'll be on the same page. The message gets delivered to the players the right way. Excited to play on Monday Night Football, and is there a little extra juice maybe when you play in front of them? 
I mean, we'll see when we come out to practice here. I think the guys are just excited to get out there and play. Uh, I mean, in the end, it's the 2022 season. You know, it's it's a lot of excitement. I think just to get out there and have the season finally be here. I mean, we got a game tonight, which is so exciting, and um, just for the NFL to be back. I mean, anybody that's involved in this game, I bet you all are excited. I'm excited. The fans are excited. So, um, yeah, I think there is excitement, but for us, we still have a job to do. So, I think it's kind of controlling that excitement and understanding. Hey, we're allowed to be fired up and excited, but it's a marathon and we have to be sure we're going out there and executing every play. When you watch the game tonight, do you watch it as a coach or can you watch it as a fan? You know, it's kind of on in the background, I think. Yeah, you always love because, again, it's the greatest sport ever. And so love having it on and, and kind of uh, taking a peek at it every now and then. But, you know, there's still work to be done for us. So I'll be sure I'm game planning there and kind of have it in the background. Nate, you spoke about rookies a minute ago. It looks like Seattle could be starting to rookie uh, offensive tackle. Certainly not asking you to give away your game plan, but you try to test. I mean, in the end, you're going to, we try to test everybody. You know, it's not just one or the other, but, you know, they're going to have a, a, a pretty good job uh, ahead of them having to go against the guys that they're going to have to go against. And we can't underestimate them because they're in that role for a specific reason. They believe that they can play uh, in the NFL. So, you know, everybody's good out there, you know, so we have to just come out there and execute. Two more for the coach. You expect Randy and or KJ to be on the pitch count from Monday night? We're still talking about that right now. They're, they're limited, so we'll see. Coach, how do, you, one, how do you guard against spending a little too much time talking to the offense when the game's, go, sorry, when the game's going on and the defense is on the field or whatever it may be, like time management, I guess? Yeah, I mean, everything, I have a kind of a process that I'll go through during the game, kind of like we did in the preseason, making sure the offense is ready to go. They understand what we're going to be doing, uh, making sure everybody's on the same page with all the plays that we're going to try to get to. So we'll communicate that, make sure all the corrections are made, and uh, and then I'll get to the defense, and I'll be on the defensive side. I'll be sure that I'll have Derek right next to me. He'll let me know if anything needs to happen or if a timeout or if a challenge or anything like that. We've got a lot of people that will be in my ear uh, while I'm working with the offense in between series. Thank you very much, Coach.